Welcome back to Clear Lake Fishing TV. Thanks for coming fishing with me today. We're going to try and expand on that pattern we found yesterday. I mean, we were able to squeak out a limit plus a couple extra little rats. Talking to people around here, that's not too shabby. So let's see if we can do a little better today. Let's go. So what was yesterday's pattern, you ask? Well, it was finding the bait fish, and that's not hard. Honestly, these silver sides are so thick you can get off the boat and just walk across their backs to the shore if you need to. Uh, but it was throwing this crankbait till my arms wanted to fall off and hoping to hit one in the face or make one mad. But it did get us a limit plus a couple extras to call and a couple little babies. Uh, and talking to people, that was pretty good. So I'm just gonna keep doing that and try some different waters with similar conditions to what I was fishing yesterday. So thanks for coming fishing. Let's go. Pretty quiet and peaceful this morning, so I'm gonna try and just drift with the wind. I don't have any of my graphs on. Try and make as little noise as possible. I got a uh, bait pattern playing on the hydro wave at a really low volume. Thankfully, there's a little breeze, got a little bit of ripple on the water. I feel like that can only help. So I haven't been catching a lot of fish, but the fish I'm catching are pretty good quality. I mean, they're healthy, they're thick, they're fat. They're fighting. I haven't really crushed numbers on Clear Lake since the spring anyway. So I'll take a bunch of healthy fish. I bet my bag yesterday was 16 and a half, 17 pounds. I mean, that's not awesome by Clear Lake standards, but good fish. You got to work for those bites, though. If you're averaging a fish an hour, you're doing good out here. Guess if it was easy, everybody would be doing it, right? to get my net on deck. I don't mess around with treble hook baits anymore after putting that hook in my thumb. Oh, excuse me pal, that is what I'm talking about. A very respectable fat tubbers. Healthy fish. Good start to the day. Thank you, sir. See ya. That was fun. Let's go get another. See what I mean about respectable fish? I mean, that one was just built like a linebacker. Thick, thick, thick. Healthy. So let's talk about the area I'm fishing. A lot of you probably recognize it. I'm on the Redbud side of uh, Fruit and Weekend Island. I don't think that's what's as important as what it's offering. So we got access to deep water, we got bait fish, and we got little pockets where the bass can corral these fish. When I started trying to put my fall pattern together, I was trying the backs of coves and bays. And it was packed with bait fish and there were bass back there. You just couldn't throw a crankbait. The dying weeds were so stinking thick and frankly, the bass I was catching weren't the quality that I'm catching out Main Lake a little more. So while I think my theory was sound of where to start, I just evolved it a little bit. 
and found areas that were closer to main lake, closer to deep water, that weren't quite so weeded up, contrary to my last couple casts where I'm having to clear all these treble hooks. I was getting strikes on the underspin and it was pulling through the weeds fairly well. I just wasn't able to get the hook sets. I was losing tails. And my crankbait bites, a lot of the hookups are on those rear hooks. So I think this visibility is playing part of it. Just not getting the strikes I need to throw Kitex. So many bait fish. What are you guys jumping about? Is there a giant bass under you? If there is, I want a meter. Stay down. Feels decent. Feels decent. Feels real decent. Oh man, they're fighters. <laughs> Another little football. Not a beast. Yep. Caught on that rear treble hook again. Roscoe, get in the back, buddy. You don't want a treble hook in the nose. Okay. Again, thick, healthy fish. Thanks for playing. Hey, another keeper. I didn't have to wait an hour for it. I don't want to jinx anything, but it's shaping up to be a good day. That's two fish in a half hour. But that supports what I was saying in, I don't remember if it was the last video or the one before, but if you tend to find one, you've found a bunch, so work the area real well. In fall, they're schooling up. Oh, quick release. Use a little one pounder anyway. Actually, those are the ones that put the hook in your hand, no doubt. Feisty little devils. They're the ones you should be netting. I don't know what I was thinking. I was about to boat flip him. Well, I was trying to boat flip him and he got off. Good for him. He was a keeper, but I'm sure he'd be the first to call if I get that far. I wish that slight breeze would come back. I like that ripple on the water. I'm not gonna lie, it's getting hot already. I wish I could tell you what this crankbait is. I just don't remember and it doesn't have any markings on it. That bill is getting pretty rough though. It's been doing work. See, this, whatever this grass is, is hanging on. It's still green. And looking pretty healthy. Everything else I pulled up is brown and gross. And in my experience, green fish do not like brown and gross. Green fish like green and healthy. If you can find a bay or a cove that has green and healthy grass this time of year, you found gold. Mine it. That's what I mean by brown and gross. Can't tell if that, no. Boy, that felt like a fish at first. 
thought I felt a head shake. Maybe I did. Maybe it took me down in the weeds. Shook off. see the mast of the sailboat on the other side of the island and I know that this is where I stopped catching fish yesterday as well on the other side. Another clue that I should probably just turn around. A lot of fishing is listening to your gut and playing your hunches, right? And that can be said two different ways. And playing your hunches, comma, right, question mark. Or, and playing your hunches right, as in correctly. Oh, English. Remember when I caught those fish this morning? That was cool. I just went down pretty hard trying not to step on the dog and, and attempt to catch myself. I hyperextended my thumb something fierce. Whew. Might have ended my day, guys. We'll see. I jinxed myself and I injured myself. Yeah, that sucks. Let's not do that anymore. Sure, go for one more fish because four is a lot cooler than three. There we go. Oh, that feels like a real good one. Oh, this thumb. That feels like a real respectable fish. Going right out to the deep water, trying to get safe. It's a fighter. Nice fish. I tell you what, this injured thumb puts the fish at a pretty good advantage. Not gonna lie, I was feeling a little discouraged there. Just gave me some new motivation. It was a nice fish. Hello. Mm. Mm. I feel so alive right now. All right guys, my arms are about to fall off my shoulders and my thumb is killing me from that fall. So I'm gonna call it early just a little sooner than I thought I was. I'm just gonna shave like 45 minutes off the day. I appreciate you coming fishing with me. Bait that got done today, a little crankbait again. I wish I knew the name of it so I could tell y'all. You know, today was a grind by definition. I mean, I don't know how many hundreds of casts that was for just a few fish. But I will say the fish were of a good quality. So in that, it's totally worth the grind. Uh, again, thanks for coming. We'll catch you next time. See ya.